see this question in the product f is equal to q v cross b see b is given as b i plus b j plus b 0 k see for q is equal to one unit velocity is given as 2 i plus 4 j plus 6 k units and the force acting is 4i minus 20j plus 12k. What is the meaning of this question? We are placing a charged particle in a magnetic field. The force, the, the moving charged particle, the charged particle is having a velocity of 2i plus 4j plus 6k unit and the charge is 1 unit. If that is the case, you know that a force will be acting on a moving particle, moving charge, charged particle in kept in a magnetic field will experience a force. That force is given by q into v cross b. So here the question is if that is the case, how much is the value of b or how much is the total expression or what is expression for b, the net magnetic field in that region. Fine, first of all let us see the given information. You know q into the force acting will be equal to the force acting on a charged particle is q times, this is a scalar quantity, v cross b, right, v cross b velocity cross product with magnetic field in that region first of all you know that q is 1 even if you are not writing it's not going to be a problem so left hand side force is given v cross b we can find out how to find out v cross b i hope all of you are thorough with this v cross b we have to find out so v cross b is nothing but determinant of i cap j cap k cap okay now velocity vector how much is that 2 4 and 6 what is b b vector is given as b b b0 all x y z components fine now this determinant will be equal to how much is this determinant i multiplied by i cap multiplied by how much is that so you have to take this 4 b0 minus 6 b 4b0 minus 6b minus j cap multiplied by how much is that 2b0 minus 6b 2b0 minus 6b then plus k cap multiplied by last term 2b minus 4b okay 2b minus 4b the right hand side of the expression is ready now we already have the expression for left hand side we can easily equate the idea is the i component of the force is exactly this this one so this is same as i component of the force the j component or the y component is exactly same as the force component i mean in the force c z also will be same that means we can easily say that this is going to be equal to 4 and minus is already there so we can say that this quantity is going to be equal to 20 the magnitude of that number then this is going to be exactly 12 from there we can easily come to the solution let us go to the next page see 4b0 minus 6b is equal to 4 4b0 minus 6b is equal to 4 equation number 1 see next one 2b0 minus 6b is equal to 20 2b0 minus 6b is going to be 20. Fine. The last term is 2b minus 4b is equal to 12. So 2b minus 4b is equal to 12. See, we can compare all these equations and we can come to the solutions. First of all, the last term, all of you look here. 2b minus 4b, that means minus 2b is going to be equal to 12. That means you are getting the magnitude of b as minus 6. Substitute that value in the first equation. You can see that 4b0 minus 6 multiplied by, how much is the value of b? Minus 6 is going to give you 4. That means 4b0 plus 36 is going to be 4. And we can say 4b0 is going to be equal to 4 minus 36, which is equal to 32. We can say b0 is equal to, or 4b0 is equal to 32, or b0 is equal to 8 units. Fine, we got and their quantities. I mean, b, b0 we obtained. Now, the magnetic field vector. 
is going to be as per the initial expression it is given as b i plus b j plus b 0 k that means b we obtained minus 6 of i cap then minus 6 of j cap then here also negative should be there right so here negative should be there look here minus is the minus 32 will come this is minus 8 so minus of 8 k cap so this is the final expression or for magnetic field let us go back to the option which one is the correct option all of you see here minus 6 minus j minus k so this is the correct answer for this question this is a previous year need 2021 question i hope all of you understood this